gun. It's like they just give me 50 bullets, shoot at a target, and I didn't know what to do. So I felt so lost. Like here, if you want to take one shot or two shots, if you want to stop, it's fine. If you want to keep one, if you want to move on to a higher caliber or something, you can, you can shoot at a paper, you can shoot at a different target, just for fun like that. And then uh, go at your pace. If you're still scared, take it slow, like be steady. Next thing you know, you could even shoot it one hand there with that. It's, you'll get the hand. As long as it feels good, it's still good for you. So, the most important thing about guns that I realized, I learned, if, if I don't know it, or if you don't, Mark doesn't know it, he'll eventually realize it later on, the hard way or ever not. The most important thing about guns that I, I realized It'll take away all those fears, misconceptions, and stuff like that. Uh, you'll know what really matters. So, whenever you get confused, just pick that on safety. I'll explain the four rules. These four rules, you can find them in any accredited ring in the US, in Australia, in Alaska, in whatever. As long as they're like professional, they compete for well like that. They, they take these rules very seriously. So yeah, there are only four simple rules, and then I'll explain it to you, or demonstrate it. The reason for that is, you have to load a magazine, and then when you put it in the gun, that's how you'll charge it, or there you go, 9mm or 4 and you send me automatic whistle. Harder, but then you get a... This is the first shot. 
Yeah, is it on video? It is. Alright. So just relax. Even better shot than my <laughs> even my <laughs> And then to unload it. So yeah, let's make it safe. So dribble the magazine. Well then you can shift your grip and have to set it in. why we always check. But it's a shell. Yeah, it's already fired. Okay. So, good that you double check, because some people will think there's only one round. Yen pala, there was something inside. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Wait, Wait. Which one do you get your gun to fire two rounds with? It always does. It will always, once you chamber around. Right. Right. right now, we're yeah, still going to the gun will be fire for all. Nice. Nice. And then if you can do a chamber check, like you so you get a little comfortable. Nice. Nice. That's really helpful. Some people feel way more confident when they can check it themselves. Pretty good group. And then just relax. I don't mean lean forward or something like that. No, no, no. Yeah, like just like your shoulders. Yeah, your shoulders are going forward. And your balance is still as well. And so you can still... And then it's kind of like going like that. You're not like off balance, you're gonna fall off the boat. But then, yeah, when you roll your shoulders forward, it's like your, your foot position can still take it. You're not leaning off that. So you can still take it. You'll, your recoil will be way much more controlled. So I do this too, right? Mm -hmm. Two shots at your own pace. Like just relax and then. Uh, Good shot. Another thing with the Glock is, I guess, um, normally this happens when your grip isn't too good. It's just like a malfunction. Even if you try pulling the trigger, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah they can just Because <laughs> it's kind of in a malfunction position. Is it on video? Yeah, yeah it is on video. So for all you guys who think that Glocks are the most reliable handgun, you gotta get a. You kinda gotta understand how it, you know, how it works. Oh, did it just jam? Yeah. What you can do is, when you have the gun, just tap the magazine the on its butt. Like, tap it up. With, like that. The heart? Yeah, the heart. And then pull the slide back. That's in using that overhead. Yeah. Like, like the slingshot thing. It's in the punch. And then let it go. Oh, Pini, you look so pro. Now you're a pro. <laughs> yeah. That's how the professionals actually clear. Tap wrap. And then, you can go for another shot. You just fix the problem. You're in control. Holy shit, that's a really good group. Alright, so let's unload the gun. This time the, the shell casing came out so it functioned properly. So nice, even if you have to shift your grip. And then check inside, what if there was something left again? Nothing inside, the shell casing came out with a better grip, and then you're safe. Right. So I think your two shots were this one and this one, which is good. So you are, you're doing well. You're adapting your grip and you even yeah. clear the malfunction. I sort of altered my grip with this one compared to this and then follow your thumb thing. Oh, was this your second <laughs> shot? Yeah, this was the second. Okay. This was the first. So on this your one I was trying to do the thumbs forward thing and okay. it didn't feel. It felt awkward. Yeah, a bit. Okay. You can adapt your grip later on. Some people can hold it like let's say like that or something like that. And they can shoot way better. Like it's it's their preference. I don't, not necessarily just because I shoot like that, everyone else has to, no, that's not true. Some people can shoot like cup and saucer, you know, old school cup style, which I wouldn't recommend, but they can shoot really well like that. So if that works for you and it, it'll save your life, then use it. So you shot two in a row. Thank you. <laughs> Quick intermission. <laughs> that feel? 
super good. Kind of scary. Non-stop already. Non-stop? Yeah, just like all day. This gun actually works fine. I got hurt, I'm tired from this like that. That is that I'll shoot it up. And you're like, hey it functions. I'll try shooting it again. Nothing happened. Because when you limp rest it, there's an empty case inside. So I'll even I'll get the casing right now. So if you notice the casing, the empty casing was stuck inside. No, I'm oh, sorry, it's there. So and it's kinda jammed. Ferro there. Now I can actually hold it with two fingers in this stuff. As long as you're holding the gun firm enough, let's say I'm holding it with two fingers now. I can even hit a target. Damn. And it's still functioning, the but two fingers long feels like that. You aiming for that metal thing? Nice. Whoa. You got on your first shot. The so <laughs> we can stop from here. Then again, whenever the gun malfunctions, your grip what like that no it's okay like it happened to me when i tried shooting it with one hand or upside down the buck because I, I still wasn't used to it you could just do that tap and then rack it and then if that doesn't work the reason is when you do that yeah it does a double feed so when a tap and a rack doesn't work all you have to do is remove the magazine you can shift your grip you can just pull it out yeah as in like kind of like tear it out like that. And then you can pull the slide back yeah, just to make sure that there you go nice you even caught it it's okay you can even let it fall down because all your the purpose is to clear it nice. it hit it but it hit low so it didn't oh. so when it, there from there you can do a tap and then drag and then it works see sometimes it works sometimes it works. Near it, but it was a little to the right. She hit it again. Yeah, nice. So if you want to get a uh, more firm grip, my tip is. Oh. So there, that's a tendency. That's why I try getting a high grip from here. Whenever it, um, apparently the Glock is, is kind of weird there. Whenever you don't get a grip as high enough to let the frame, let the slide go like that. The thing is when it's like this, the frame and the slide go back at the same time. Yeah. So it short strokes the gun and then it, it flips up like that and then it goes halfway. Again, if I hold it, let's say, uh, I try to hold it as high as possible and I'm only using two fingers. I'm going to hold it like that long and I'm going to fire the gun. I'm going to try to let the gun cycle again. I can even do it again. Oh. And then the gun is still functioning. Even two fingers, just like that. That's the partly the reason why I try to hold it as high as possible. Because when I do it like that, I can't get the gun to firmly be in place without going back at the same time. Yeah, not a staple. Nice. All right, so you got it cycling well. It's good that you did it twice, some people will do that just to be it. So wait, this is your shot. Nice, it's all in the center area. You can always correct the up and down the side. You know? So this is the whole of the side and this is the whole of the neck. It's just hard knocking down that target with the knife or the Nice. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, she so got it again. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you hit it a little low. If you hit it more in the head area or something, it's gonna have a, it's gonna topple down. You can hit that target or the other steel target. Smacked him right in the head. And you're taking two shots, four shots in a row. All you have to do is to pull the trigger. Near and a little to the side. A little lower left. But uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty much on target. The angle is harder, no? The angle is a little, yeah, harder. So it, you gotta be kind of really like centered on its head or something. There, you're pretty good. You can make it safe, or you can put the safety on. Look at your thumb, yeah. There you go. So there, all you had to do was to keep pulling that trigger, and you're hitting the yeah. so hit it, and then put some shots to the and then you find this between your seat belt, something like that. You're gonna <laughs> go like whoa, like that's gonna smack against you, and and like going along with that thumb. So there, if it feels like. Lean forward a little bit, right, Marley? When you get it off, you can always hold it in a comfortable position if you're not stressed or something like that. So you can flexibly move it. So there. You can load it. How do you want to load it? That way? Okay. So you can just drop it. Yeah, put it forward. It's not that sensitive. A rail. Do you see a rail? <laughs> Video on. Video on. I'll tell you if your stance is up. You could actually lean a little more forward with your shoulder. There, that's a way better stance. And then keep a firm grip on the front because that's what's going to keep the barrel down. That's what's going to hold it down instead of it letting flip, flipping all over. The place. You can it's going to be really strong. Um, it's gonna kick. Uh, like it's kind of like a like a soft punch. Like let's say like hey man, like you wanna know, not the one like boom, like man I'm gonna kill you or something. <laughs> it's like kind of like a playful uh, punch. The one that Mars gonna shoot gonna kick a little more, but this one's pretty steady. You can actually lean forward aggressively, like there, that's that's good. And relax. Oh, and you graduated to being a badass. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can pump it back, just pull it all the way back. Nice. Jesus Christ! <laughs> there you go. And then this is your shot. There. When you're done with it. Actually, even if you leave it like that back, it's in a safe state. As long as your fingers off the trigger, then it's probably going to fire. So there. This is. Look at her shot. Like, well, if you compare it. We were shooting all pistol earlier, just here. That was the pistol. One shot, good shot. And this came out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, <laughs> nine, nine bullets came out right there in like a triangle. So that's that's the blast of a shotgun. And you have really good control that you were able to keep it down center. Um, I've seen like my sister, I've seen girls okay. shoot that and they're aiming at that distance and it flew. Don't hit the camera. <laughs> okay. Then just aim for the block, the center of the block. 
Very good. 